Deck the Halls with Blood and Money contains scenes of violence, coarse language, and mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. Are we actually going to do this? It's a little late to back out now, Kimberly. I know, it's just, what if we get caught? Everything will be fine. My company has catered this event for years. I know what I'm doing. What if Rose Tech went with another company this year? Yeah, we don't actually know for sure since you were fired, Gail. Look, everyone needs to relax. If we start to get nervous now, there's no way we're going to be able to pull this off. Then maybe we shouldn't do this. <sighs> do you want to be able to buy your kids presents for Christmas or not, Kim? Because this is the only way any of us are going to be able to afford to do that. Gail is right. With the price of groceries right now, I can't even afford Christmas dinner, let alone gifts. What am I going to tell my kids when they wake up to an empty tree? What are you going to tell them if they wake up and you're in jail, Mia? I understand your concern, Kim, but we are going to be in and out before anyone notices us. We're dressed as elves, Robin. People are going to notice us. These are the uniforms we were always given to wear. We'll blend in with the rest of the catering staff. Especially since everyone will be wearing masks for the masquerade. Uh, are you sure? Positive. Tell you what, we will go inside, and if it turns out Silver Spring Catering isn't working the event, or if they have different uniforms this year, we will call the whole thing off. What? But- We can think of something else, Robin. <sighs> okay, let's do this. Does everyone remember the plan? We go in, pose as caterers, serve some food and drinks, and sneak off during the speech. Right. Kim will take the service elevator up to the penthouse and distract the guard while we sneak in through the stairwell. We raid the office, or the bedroom, and then we get the heck out of there. Easy peasy. Please don't say that. It's basically the same thing as, what can go wrong? Want me to knock on some wood? There isn't any around. <sighs> okay, let's get going. Can I help you folks? Yeah, we're with Silver Spring Catering, here for the party. You're late. That'd be my fault. I put the wrong address into the GPS and then we hit traffic. You know how rush hour gets this time of year. You know where the service elevator is? Sure do. All right, better hurry. Most of the guests have already arrived. Thank you, Officer Stewart. <laughs> oh, I'm not an officer, I'm just a guard. Don't say just. You're here to protect us, right? Uh, yes, I suppose so. Then you're a hero in my books. <laughs> okay, that's enough. We're here to work, not flirt. I... 
I don't mind. Come on, we don't want to be even more late, right? Right, <laughs> sorry. Maybe I'll see you later tonight? Yeah! <laughs> I'll try to sneak a piece of cake for you. <laughs> Have fun at the party. Thanks. Th thank you. Everything okay, miss? Huh? Oh, yeah, I just... <laughs> She's new. First big party and a huge fan of Fletcher Rhodes. Ah, I see. Well, Mr. Rhodes is nice enough. Hopefully you'll be able to meet him. Hopefully. Go on now. You don't want his first impression of you to be the late one. Yeah, thanks. What was that, Robin? What? It got the guard off our scent, didn't it? Yeah, so Kimberly almost messed it up. I'm sorry, okay? I'm nervous. This is my first time committing a crime. Don't think of it as a crime. Think of it as taking back what's owed to us. Fletcher Rhodes doesn't owe me anything. Fletcher Rhodes is a greedy butthole who didn't even bat an eye when he laid off 400 people right before Christmas. Yeah. And he certainly isn't going to notice if a few grand goes missing from his stash. I really wish you would all stop making these assumptions. We don't even know if he has a stash, and we certainly don't know how meticulous he is with his records keeping. Christ, Kim, if you're this worried, then maybe you should just go back to the van. Yeah, we wouldn't hold it against you. And I'm sure we'd all be willing to give you a share of what we managed to get. No. We stick to the plan. If she wants the money, she needs to earn it. Gail. Look, Mia, we've spent weeks planning this. It's not fair for Kim to back out now. And it's not fair to make her do something she clearly isn't comfortable with. Mia, it's fine. You sure? Yeah, Gail is right. It isn't fair to any of you if I sit this out, but still collect the reward. So let's just follow the plan and get this over with as quickly as possible. Good. It's what we all want. Follow my lead. Right. Okay. Let's do this. The kitchen should be through the doors over there. Go in, grab a serving tray, and try to blend in until Rhodes makes his speech. I'm just saying it's weird celebrating when most of my team was let go. I know what you mean, but it is Christmas. Let's have some fun and try not to think about that. <laughs> Easy for you to say. We still have our jobs. Oh, excuse me. Can I get another drink? Thanks. Shit. It's my old boss. What do we do? Distract her. I'll try to sneak off. Ladies, what are you doing out here with empty hands? Get back in that kitchen and grab some serving trays. Sorry. We were on our way to do just that. Hurry up then. If Mr. Rhodes sees my staff wandering around the party, mingling with his guests, this will be the last time Silver Spring caters for him. Understood. Sorry. Good. There are a lot of guests without drinks. Make sure everyone is holding something. Yes, ma'am. On it. Did she see me? I don't think so. Do you think she'd recognize you with the new facial hair and mask? Probably not, but I'm not going to take that chance. Let's grab some trays before we get another scolding. We'll have to split up so we don't draw attention to ourselves. But the moment Fletcher starts his speech, make for the service elevator. Service elevator, speech. Yep, got it. Do we know when he's going to make the speech? The last couple of years, it was around eight. So we've got about an hour to kill. So heads low to the ground until then. Got it, Robin? Why are you singling me out? Do I need to answer that? You gonna be okay, Kimberly? Yeah, just need to walk around, offer people food and smile, right? Right. And if you start to feel nervous, just take a break in the hall or something, okay? I'll be fine, Gail. All right, good luck, everyone. Oh, Mr. Rhodes always goes all out with these parties. The food is top-notch this year. Oh my gosh, have you tried the little skewers with the tomatoes and mozzarella balls? <gasps> they are so good. I'm serious. With the new Reflections campaign, we're going to gain a lot of new subscribers. Despite how much of an ass Rhodes is, he does have some brilliant ideas. <laughs> Rhodes? Please. Fletcher Rhodes doesn't have an original idea in that big head of his. It's the marketing team that are the geniuses. How's everything going? Holding up okay? 
Yeah, this is just a little more work than I thought it was going to be. These trays are heavy, and these elf shoes are super uncomfortable. Not much longer now. Yeah. It's not too late to back out, you know. I know what Gil said, but this isn't the same as planning a trip or stopping at the grocery store. There are some serious consequences if we get caught and you have more to lose than any of us. I know, but I'm at a loss, Mia. If I don't do this, I don't know how I'm going to get through the rest of the month. My credit cards are maxed out, my cupboards are rapidly emptying, and there are no gifts under the tree for Lexi and Michael. I'm sorry, Kim. I know how hard you've been working since losing John. What about you? Are you having second thoughts? Of course. But what's that saying? Desperate times, desperate measures. It makes me wonder how other people are able to afford Christmas this year. You and me both. Tony and I work good jobs, and we barely make ends meet. Well, hopefully that will change after tonight. Yeah, hope so. What are you two doing? No chatting. Chill. We was just talking for a couple minutes. Okay, well, I need you to split up. Road speech is going to begin any minute, and I'll be damned if we get found out last minute. That's gotta be Fletcher. Time to go. Anyone see Robin? Looks like she's already headed to the service elevator. Okay, let's go. Good evening, everyone. We made it another year. <laughs> I hope you've all been enjoying my party. You all deserve to have some fun after such a successful quarter. I know a lot of you are wondering why so many were let go since we exceeded our sales projections, and those questions will be answered, but not right now. Tonight, we celebrate. Okay, Kim, you just need to go up to the penthouse level. That will take you up to Fletcher's personal condo. Why don't I go up? You, Robin? Yeah. We all know I'm better at engaging in conversation. No offense, Kim. Uh-huh. Okay, fine. Robin, you distract the guard. Kim, you're with us. You should have about 30 minutes before Fletcher delivers his speech and finishes making his rounds. Rounds? You know, mingle with the commoners, pretend to care about the employees. 30 minutes might seem like a lot of time, but it's not. So let's move. Everyone ready? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Good luck, Robin. Remember the signals? Yep. Don't worry. All right. See you on the other side. Be careful. The emergency stairs are this way. Hurry. Locked. What do we do? Don't worry. We were prepared for this. Got the tools, Mia? Yeah. What the hell is that? A snap gun. A what? Might be too loud to use that. Got the picks? Yeah. Thanks. Since when do you know how to pick locks? Since a couple of weeks ago. Do you think I'd come here without some sort of plan for locked doors? I guess I didn't really think about that. That's why Robin and I did all the planning. How did you learn how to pick locks? Micmoc. Now, can you be quiet and let me concentrate? Sorry. Okay. Here goes. Right? Like, what does PH stand for if not party house? Uh, penthouse? Penthouse? Oh, <laughs> that actually makes a lot of sense. You're super smart, aren't you? <laughs> hey, let's move. Holy crap! This is his bedroom? It's bigger than my entire apartment. Are you seeing this view? You can see the entire city from here. Not just the city. Check it out. There's the mountains. And the ocean. Living like a king while the rest of us struggle to put food on our tables. Well, this king is about to give back to his people, whether he knows it or not. So, what exactly are we looking for? Anything that looks expensive and won't be missed. Or some loose cash. Okay. What size bed do you think this is? No idea, but it's larger than a king. Way larger. Nothing under the mattress. Ew! What? I found his... toys. Gross. Jackpot. 
He does not keep his money in a shoebox in the closet. Apparently, he does. How much is in there? No clue, but it's gotta be close to 10 grand. No way! What's with all the jewelry? Probably gifts for all the women he brings up here. Well, I'll just help myself to some gifts then. Just a couple. You don't want him to realize things are missing right away, remember? I know. Let's see. The pearls are a must. What do you think, Kim? The rubies or the emeralds? Definitely the rubies. Good choice. What else does he have hidden in here? What do we have here? Shit! I is that a gun? Yeah. Put it back! Right. Let's try another room? Good idea. What do you think? 2,000 from the loose cash? 500 each? Sounds good to me. Wait. What's that? What's what? That bag down there in the corner. Let me check. Oh. My. God. <sighs> Get the fuck out. I've never seen so much money before. <laughs> We've hit the mother load. These are all 100s. That's gotta be like a million dollars just sitting in a bag. Grab it. What? Take the bag. Gail, we can't. Fletcher is definitely going to notice if this bag goes missing. Let's just take a bundle each. It's a million dollars, Kim. Exactly. Fletcher might not care about a few thousand, but he's definitely going to care about a million. Kim's right, Gail. As much as I love to take it all, we have to stick to our original plan. Unless you want to go to jail. Uh, fine. Hand me a couple stacks then. Okay. So if those stacks are 2,000 each, we've got 10,000 cash plus these two necklaces. We got enough? I guess. Forget about that bag, Gail. 2,500 is enough for me. That'll cover gifts and Christmas dinner with enough left over for rent. Yeah, I'm happy with 2,500. What if we take another four bundles? Gail. Yeah, 2,500 is enough for now, but what about after Christmas? Do you think our struggles are just going to go away? No, but... It's Robin. We've got a problem. Problem? Fletcher's on his way up here. What? That's what her message says. We need to get out of here. Shit. Okay, yeah, let's go. What are you doing? We gotta get back to the stairwell. Shh! Do you hear that? It's Fletcher! Quick! There's a door in the back corner. Might be a bathroom. We can hide in there. What if he's here to use the bathroom? You got a better idea, Kim? We can't stay here. Door it is. I can't believe this. We are going to get caught and we are all going to end up in jail. Shh! Quiet. This isn't the bathroom. An office? Turn your flashlight off, Mia. <gasps> Gail! You did not take that bag. You two might be willing to leave a million bucks behind, but I'm not. Oh, I am so going to kill you if we get out of this. Don't say if. Should we hide? Let's move behind that couch. No, let's stay put. We don't want to make any noise. I don't like just lingering by the door. Fine, then move your ass quietly. What's he doing in there? Probably looking for that bag of money. It was tucked in the corner. He probably won't notice it's missing until we are long gone. How long should we wait in here? Once we hear the bedroom door again, we'll wait a couple minutes, then head for the stairs. Robin should be waiting for us at the service elevator. Okay. Where the fuck is it? Not a word. Crap. Stay calm. He doesn't know we're here. If someone is in here, come out now. No one. And stay still. Shit. Where the fuck did they go? Oh, come on, Robin. All right, I know you're there. There's no sense in hiding. Gail, what do we do? Stay down. Gail, what are you? An elf. All right, you caught me. Put the gun down. Thought you could steal from me, huh? Let me guess. You're one of the employees I laid off. Here to take revenge? 
Nah, I just can't stand billionaires like you. Figured you'd be an easy mark. I admire your tenacity, but I can't stand pathetic thieves like you. Hand over the bag. Now. All right. Fine. <laughs> there. No harm done. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> What's this? Another one. Any other little elves hiding behind my couch? Three greedy elves. My, my, whatever am I going to do with you all? We haven't done anything. You broke into my home and tried to steal my money. All right, so you got us on the hook for B&E. But you can't prove we were going to steal anything. I caught your friend red-handed. He was just holding a bag. Maybe he didn't have any intention of walking out of here with it. Please. As if anyone would believe that. Mr. Rhodes, please. If you're going to call the cops, please do it quickly so my friend can get some medical attention. Call the cops? Why would I do that? What do you mean? I don't want the police in here. Let's just say there's some things that I would rather they not find. So, we are free to go? I didn't say that either. Then, what? You three are going to disappear. What? Hope the money was worth it. Please, don't! Huh? Robin! Robin! You all okay? Gail's been shot. Shit. What are you doing here? When no one replied, I figured you might be in trouble. What about the guard? I convinced her to go down to the party for a little bit. <sighs> We've got to leave. Now. What about Fletcher? He knows your name. He doesn't want the police involved. Maybe he'll just let this slide? <sighs> Unlikely. Come on, we can deal with it later. Let's just get Gail out of here before Rhodes comes to. The bag. You're not serious. I'm dead serious. I was shot, Mia. I'm not going home empty-handed. Let's just get out of here. It's not worth it. Easy for you to say. You don't have a ball of metal lodged in your shoulder. Hey, let's stop arguing and get the hell out of here. Robin, get the bag and the gun. Why the gun? We might run into trouble on the way out. Okay, got him. Can we go now? Yeah. Uh, get back here! Ah! I'll fucking kill you all! Run! I'll hold him back! Gail! <laughs> How dare you come into my home? Steal from me! Hit me over the head from behind like a fucking coward! Gail! Shit! He's going to kill him! Fletcher, let him go! <laughs> or what? You're gonna shoot me with my own gun? I'll do it. Please, robbing me and killing me are two drastically different things. And considering how ill thought out this plan was, you're clearly not the hardened criminal you're pretending to be. <sighs> Just go. We're not leaving without you. I'd listen to him, little girl. <sighs> because the moment I'm done with him, I'm coming after you. Touch him again, and I'll shoot. I'm getting really tired of you four. I have a party to get back to, so let's end this. Give me the gun! No! Let go! If you don't let go right now, I'll- No! Stop! <laughs> Robin! Robin, what did you do? I... I didn't mean to. It just... It, it just went off. <laughs> you... <laughs> He's dead. Oh my god! What are we going to do? We're fucked! That's not helping him! Okay, okay. Let's all come down. We can fix this. Fix this? What? Do you have a time machine? Or do you know how to bring the dead back to life? No, but... Okay, so Rose let off 400 people, right? They will be suspects before us, and... There was public uproar over the decision. What if we make it look like Fletcher ran away? Uh, that could work. And the body? What do we do with that? 
slap some headphones on it and try to weekend at Bernie's our way out of the building? Weekend at what? <laughs> it's a movie where they... No, never mind. Not the time. Gail, any ideas? You know this building better than us. It's sort of hard to think right now. I know, but you gotta try. Uh, we can take it down the service elevator. <laughs> but I, I, I don't know how to get it out of the front door. Plus, the guard might be back in the hall. Uh, the garbage chute! Huh? We can push it down the garbage chute. It leads directly outside. We get the body outside, take the service elevator down to the basement, and then drag Fletcher into the van. Then we can figure out what to do with the body afterward. Okay, that could work. We should go to the police. Absolutely not! It was self-defense! We broke into his home, Kim. Robin, Mia, you're gonna have to take the body. Kim, you need to clean up this blood. Find some bleach. No. No way. Look, I don't like this either. But we don't have any other choice now. It's either this, or we go to jail for murder. <sighs> I'll go find some bleach. Think that's clean enough? <sighs> I hope so. I can't believe this happened. Hey. I'm sorry. If I had known... It's not your fault, Gail. We all agreed to do this. I know, but... Okay, it's done. Can we go now? Yeah. Come on! Um, how do we get the body out of a trash compactor? I'm not climbing in there. No one is. So, we just leave him in there? Robin! What? This thing is meant to compact trash, right? Let's get back to the van and get the hell out of here. Where is the van? It was right here. Well, it's not here now. What the fuck? Um, guys? You parked in a tollway zone? I didn't see the sign, okay? Oh my god. Can anything else go wrong? Yeah! We're holding a million dollars in a duffel bag. Gail is bleeding out, and you want us to take the bus? You'd rather call a taxi or a rideshare and have the police track us back to this location? Evening! Did you just come from a Christmas party or something? Uh, yeah. Well, come on in. I'm out of the cold. Hey, is he okay? Yeah, just a little too much Santa juice. All right, well, take a seat. We did it. We aren't out of the woods yet. They won't find him. That compactor is going to be filled with garbage from the party, especially when they tear down the decorations. Even if they do find him, they can't tie us back to anything, right? No. Our real phones will put us at your place all night, Kim. We all know the alibi story. As long as we stick to that, we'll be fine. What should we do about your shoulder, Gail? We can't take you to the hospital. You know, my niece is a veterinary student. I'm sure she can patch you up. Were you eavesdropping? Not at all. Not my fault you all talk so loud. Look, you want to help or not? You're just going to help us out of the kindness of your heart? <laughs> no. But I'll help you for that nice pearl necklace that lady's wearing. While the family of raccoons living in the Christmas tree was certainly a surprise, the greatest shock this year was undoubtedly the disappearance of billionaire tech mogul Fletcher Rhodes. Many speculate he fled after discovering the police were closing in on him for embezzlement. The fraudulent reports ultimately led to the dismissal of over 400 employees right before Christmas. The new CEO of Road Tech has ensured the public that these employees would be reinstated immediately with a hefty Christmas bonus. Mommy, mommy, Uncle Gail is you! Gail? Hey, Kim. Gail, what are you doing here? I just wanted to see how you're holding up. I'm fine. Nervous. I know they think he ran, but what if they find him one day? What if- Hey, 
Enough with the what-ifs. It's over. I don't think it'll ever truly be over, Gail. No, I suppose not. How's your shoulder? Sore, but healing. That vet student was surprisingly good at removing bullets. That's good. Did you want to come in? Sure. If... if that's okay with you. Yeah. The kids will be glad to see you. Kim... I really am sorry. I know, Gail. You don't need to apologize every time you see me. Um... here. I got you a gift. It's... not much, but... Merry Christmas, Kimberly. Thank you. Uncle, Uncle Gail! Gail! Hey, kiddos! Merry Christmas, Uncle Gail! Merry Christmas, Michael. Lexi. Did you bring us some presents? Lexi! <laughs> As a matter of fact, I did. Yay! Yay! You really didn't need to get them anything. I know, but we went through all of that for them. It only seems right to make this the best Christmas we can. Especially since we almost didn't have one at all. Well, we shouldn't have to worry about that anymore. No, hopefully not. Mommy, is everything okay? Yes, sweetie. Everything is fine. Everything is going to be fine. So, what should we do for New Year's? Deck the Halls with Blood and Money was written by Jenna Oliver. Starring the voice talents of Lana Redlich as Kimberly Barker, Calvin Joyle as Gail Dunbar, Lanaysha Jones as Mia Davis, Veritan as Robin Richardson, Sean Kedzier as Fletcher Rhodes, Tavar Sixon as the security guard, Rachel Atkins as the head caterer, Laura Rivera, bus driver, Nate Washko as the news anchor, John Alan Alonzo as Lexi Barker, Aaron Golden reading for Michael. Jenna Rose as Employee 1. Key Garland as Employee 2. Trenton Butt as Employee 3. Roscoe Brayman as Employee 4. Melissa J. Lackey as Employee 5. Alexis Phantom as Employee 6 and 9. Rita Amberita as Employee 7. Angie Min as Employee 8. Jenna Oliver as Employee 10. Rita Amberita as Guard. Music written, composed, and performed by Key Garland. Logo by Blind Deaf Ghost. Key art by Gerald Hill. Character art by Benjamin Callens and Avia Key. Background art by Blind Deaf Ghost. Audio and video editing by Jenna Oliver. Casting by Jenna Oliver and Loki Coulter. to the moon.